And this is another example of completely different patient, uh, which is now uh, shown um, in the intercommissural view, uh, where you can appreciate the left atrial appendage here, but uh, note that uh, the gain is very high. It's important to lower the gain because you can miss some thrombi if you overgain the image. So here, see, if I turn down the gain, I will see more and more details of the uh, left atrial appendage, particularly in the far part of it. But uh, again, I'm not looking at this uh, appendage proper way because I have to uh, insert the probe slightly deeper and uh, antiflex and then you can see how different the image is. So based on the first images I showed you, I could have missed this thrombus in the left atrial appendage. While now I can scan uh, the, uh, the appendage from zero degree to 100 and uh, something here. And I can uh, see all the time the, uh, at least the sludge or perhaps uh, thrombus uh, in the left atrial appendage, which is very important. Uh, please note also the position of the Coumadin reach, which in this view is directed uh, up, so it does not obstruct the view and the insonation of the uh, left atrial appendage is really perfect. So uh, let's have a look at the model. Of course, the model is individual for this given patient and you can see uh, how we are scanning the, the uh, appendage uh, from below, as I mentioned before. Why the patient has the thrombus in the left atrial appendage? Of course, it is because uh, he has or she has um, mitral stenosis. So here you see that uh, this patient um, has calcified anterior leaflet of the mitral valve with the doming typical for mitral stenosis you can also see that there is some turbulence of flow in the mitral orifice. Uh, we can also uh, see this valve in uh, orthogonal views uh, using the intercommissural and uh, X-plane showing you long axis view with again turbulence of flow and a uh, pisa, large pisa forming on the left atrial side of the valve. Um, of course, we can uh, also uh, have a look at the 3D echo uh, in this case. So here is uh, our valve. I can just uh, uh, change slightly the gain as we normally do during the uh, uh, 3D uh, echo scanning. And here you see the aortic valve, the mitral valve with the calcification and the uh, stenosed orifice, left atrial appendage. And you can also move it to the left ventricular side and see uh, very nicely the orifice of the mitral valve, which is stenosed in this case.